walk in here, you just, the sweat just starts forming like on your, on weird parts too, like your arms, like my arms, like don't really sweat even if I'm hot, but I walk in this greenhouse and it's like my arms start sweating. It's like my face, you know, like my cheeks, <laughs> like they just start pooling and it's like, wow, this definitely is functional for sure. <laughs> guys welcome back this is our freedom song my name is Tequisha and today we are going to be taking a look inside of the greenhouse if you are new here let me tell you a little bit about this greenhouse we were able to build this frame using reclaimed wood a fence actually that we found on the side of the road we probably it probably took care of 98% of this foundation our frame that you see and so we just love 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 that story about just the provision that was provided for us and so we are just so so happy about that so let me take you inside so what has changed so far since the last time I showed you guys the greenhouse is the door is up oh my goodness this door I also found this door on the side of the road and held on to it for like a year it's the same door I was using inside of the hoop house to pot up some things and so I just knew that this door was going to be somewhere and it was going to be incredibly great and here it is looking absolutely fantastic We have our shelves here on each side of the door. must build this absolutely gorgeous table to go in here y'all and I am just so excited about this it's just so 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 beautiful I love it so wood and black is definitely my thing if you have had a peek into our kitchen you know that wood and black oh my goodness it just hits so good for us So this side of the table is where we can do some potting. And he put a little shelf down here that we could put a bin to collect the extra potting soil that doesn't go into the pot. And so that's a very, very good thing. And it's actually the same way on the other side. So this doesn't have it underneath. But as we come over here to the other side, it's the same. So we got options. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at his, his work here. Isn't that just so beautiful? I just love that he just decided to be so artistic in a spot that, you know, we don't have to be artistic here, you know, but beauty plus function friend who was throwing out this three-tier basket and I was like girl I will take it I think it's going to work really really well right here maybe some gardening gloves maybe some tools I don't really know yet but I know that it's perfect right there right here in the middle we have our propagation station which will be up and running very very soon
couple items here that um, I'm trying to figure out if I can use in this space. So I absolutely love these. They sell them. I found both of these for a couple dollars at the thrift store. And so I cannot wait to see if I can actually fit them in here somewhere. And I have these hooks. And then I have this burlap that I bought from the store to see if we cannot make some shade cloth in here. Um, I love the warmth of the burlap. And so I'm thinking that it can really make this space just so, so, so incredible as far as like function and beauty bring some warmth some more warmth in here um, throughout the fall i just think that it could be pretty incredible i am keeping my eyes open for the seating that would go really well in here i don't know if i want to do stools i would prefer something that was going to be really comfortable but stool a stool might be the most practical um, so yeah, so I'm still thinking through that and keeping my eyes open on the side of the road to see <laughs> what's going to be placed out there. One thing I can say about the greenhouse is it definitely works. Like it is toasty in here. Like so toasty in here. <laughs> I want to talk to you about how we have decided to keep this space temperature controlled. When you get a greenhouse you and you do your research, you read about the importance of circulating air as well as letting air out of the space. And so how we are doing that as we are moving forward. So we will be putting some screens on two of our windows because it just just to have that fresh air blowing through here especially in the fall just to come in here and sit listen who's coming with me who's gonna sit at the table you are invited just to come in here and to sit in the fall and to push those windows open y'all mm, that is gonna be so amazing that's gonna be such a great experience but so that is beauty plus function right there. So we're going to put the screens there because I want to be able to open up the windows without worrying about bugs coming in here. So I showed you last time that Thomas got our outlet out here the last time. And that is so important to be able to have electricity out here is huge. It really makes us be able to use this space throughout the fall and in the winter. And as we are going to be making our um, seed starts in here, we're going to be sowing our seeds and letting them grow in here. Just being able to add some heat in this space is going to be really, really important. With that being said, I want to talk about this exhaust fan that we have installed. It is temperature controlled. And so you actually set the gauge to what you want the temperature to be in this space and if it goes above that it turns on if it goes below that it turns on and so temperature control gauge was something that was really important for me i knew that that was something that we were going to need in order to be as successful as we could be um, i don't want to have to worry about coming out here and having everything die because you know we got held up somewhere and I couldn't get out or whatever the case may be. So many things could happen. And so um, having it turn on automatically at a certain temperature is ideal. I would say this exhaust fan was super simple to set up. It did not take us long at all. Like it came in really good packaging and didn't have a lot of parts, which I appreciate the instructions. Um, the manual was very clear. It's easy to read. You know, sometimes you get things and they don't even come with a manual. They just expect you to figure it out. It was a very, very easy read. Everything came nice and secure and it was so simple to put together 
assure that we were going to cut the right size hole, what Thomas did was he just traced the exhaust fan on a piece of cardboard. And so we use that as our stencil. So I'm using a chalk pen and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Cross your neck in the middle of the line or all around the quilt. Main air, okay, not the so corner. Yeah. Alright. What we did was just drill um, some holes right in the inside of our square so that we can um, have a space to start with our reciprocal saw. Okay, so I'm just going to be cutting some of this thermal film that we have up here in the inside of the greenhouse so that when we go in with our saw, it's not like getting chewed up in the process. So I'm just going from the first hole down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how great that angle was. It might have been strange. Okay, so first we're using our jigsaw. The jigsaw. Okay. When you're coming down, you gotta have it this way and watch out for the cord. On your line. Oh, like on the line. Okay. Like not inside the line. <laughs> About, you know, the majority of that blade in there to be able to cut the depth of it, you know. Yeah, because you're going to be side, you know, you're going to have it. Like this? More the, wait, so you mean more of the blade like this? Not straight, but like at that yes. angle, yep, like that. Go ahead and try to penetrate through the wood. Okay. And if you got any like rounded corners, So here we lined up the fan and we went ahead and drilled our holes in while the fan was in place so that we could put them exactly where they needed to go. I would say that this is a two person job because the bolts actually um, go through the other side. And so Thomas just held that in place for me while I climbed up the back to slide in those bolts. And then I'm going to come back around and put the nuts on. This is the spot. That's the spot. Yes. Screwdriver. So 
I really appreciate the notes on um, that are tagged on each of these cords. It tells you exactly where to put um, the port. So this is this is this pin has three, as you can see, and this pin has four. It tells you exactly what to do, which I appreciate so much. other part of the sensor looks like and it has a suction cup so it's convenient that it's right next here to the window so we'll just put it on the window so here is what the fan is looking like and here is the plug. Then this is what it reads and the fan started. <laughs> yes, it started. Nice. Right now, it's actually it's actually 90 degrees in here, and the humidity is at 73%. That is another thing that I really love about this product is that you can set the temperature gauge to the temperature, plus you can also set it according to the humidity level, which is really, really great. I actually have been in here and I don't have it turned on yet, so it is steadily warming up as the day is going along and so a couple of things one of the things so we did install it install it in that upper left hand corner of the greenhouse but I'm actually thinking that I might bring it down some so that the controls are easy to get to um, the nice thing about it is that you can move it very easily and so we'll just probably unscrew it and maybe put it right beside the propagation station so that I can adjust the temperature without climbing up on the table but the thing about the table Speaking of the table, Thomas built it so well that it can hold all of this weight. And so <laughs> that's fantastic. It is a very sturdy table. That's always a good thing. Also probably going to be doing something to just make the cords look um, just more tidy up there. And so we will be figuring that out um, in this next upcoming week or so um, to really just make that just look very, very, very nice and tidy. I'm going to go up here and turn this on and so that this space can start to cool down just a bit because I am going to be in here today doing a few things and so I would prefer it to be less than 90. So let's see if we can't make that happen. <laughs> just turned the exhaust fan on and came around the back so that you guys could see what it looks like from back here. Thomas did build a little frame around it so it would be nice and tidy. It just came together so well. Also added our pulls onto the windows that do open up and as you know like this comes out it slides out we will and it's also the stopper for the window so it's what we use to prop the window up and so we have our pulls on each side the outside I did add some sand some just leftover sand that we had I'm going to be adding some compost into these beds because the idea for me I think I want to plant carrots in these beds I've been told that carrots really like a well draining soil and if you add sand it really helps the carrots to um, form well and so I'm gonna be trying that out in this bed as well as that on the other side 
And like I said, so there is nothing underneath the sand. It's just, um, it's just the ground. And so we would need to amend it. But I'm also going to be adding some um, compost here to plant carrots. I can't believe it's already about to be time to plant carrots in our fall crops. Like, oh man, it is so crazy. It's happening fast. It's like already here. Let's take one final glance at the greenhouse in all of her glory. I just want to thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey with us. We are just so overwhelmed with gratitude for each and every one of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You made it to the end of this video. You're incredible. So just thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, we appreciate you guys so very much. We will see you guys next time. Garden tour is coming soon, y'all. Definitely stay tuned.